Hi everyone, Izzy here, and today we're going to be reacting to One Wee for the first time ever. Uh, One Wee is Wannis' brother band. They are an actual proper band who play instruments. I'm very excited for that. This is the first time I'll be reacting to a proper band in K-pop, so I'm very excited for that. Um, which makes no sense because the reason I ended up liking K-pop is I watched K-dramas and the first K-drama I ever watched was You're Beautiful and You're Beautiful is about a K-pop band, a K-band. So it makes no sense that I have not reacted to a K-band properly yet, especially since the members of that band Angel or Angel in you're beautiful, have their own bands. So I will need to get on that. I will need to get on that. But we're starting with One Wee because I love Wannis and you guys have recommended One Wee about 10 million times. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I need to, um, I need to actually do this now, I think. So we're gonna go with their music video for Universe because that was the top most requested one. So we're going with Universe. We're starting with the universe first. So let's go. So here we are with the first K band. We're going with universe, the one you guys recommended. It's actually universe underscore K-pop. Um, yeah, so one we. Let's go. Oh, this is pretty. I love piano beginnings. Okay, if this song makes me cry, I'm punching you in the face. This is your fault. If I cry, it's your fault. There are mothers involved. This is not okay. His voice is so pretty. This, this. Now there's a dog involved. It's like almost orchestral. This is not okay. His vocals are ridiculous. I like the acoustic guitar sound in this. It's really nice. Like, I thoroughly enjoy the acoustic guitar sound in this. The orchestral, I think there's like a violin in the background of the chorus, which is gorgeous. Um, and these lyrics, these, ooh, these lyrics, they can be put in a very romantic way. If we, if they had done this music video different, it could have been very, very romantic, but they've done it as like the friend that you depend on, the family member that you depend on, the, the, the pet that you protect, you depend on. It, mm, it's not okay. It's not okay. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. If they keep going with this, I'm going to cry. Also the vocals. Gorgeous. Literally stunning. Very vulnerable, very raw. Oh, stunning. Gorgeous. The vibrato on the end of that, oh. 
Wow. And for anyone who doesn't know, I have a feeling a big drop's going to happen. Um, vibrato is when people put a little waver in their voice. Um, so like what he did at the end of that note. Uh, duh, duh, purposely made that go. Duh. That's something you do on purpose rather than having... Like, it, everyone has vibrato. It's rare that you can control your vibrato so well that you don't have any wavers, any wiggles at the end of your notes. Um, I have a lot of it. I have to control it. Um, yeah, he is very good at controlling his vibrato. Because that was very nice. I liked that. Continuing. There's violins in the back there. I think very subtly, but there. There's also layering of piano and stuff. I'm sorry, big high note into a guitar solo. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. That belt is so good. For head voice and falsetto a lion bass I mentioned McFly I think at the beginning of this video um if I didn't McFly are my favorite band of all time um and Dougie from McFly he's the only person I've ever seen have this is he has a light up bass guitar. I've never seen anybody else have it. So the fact that this member has one, phenomenal. I hope he uses it in more than just this music video. I really, really hope he does. Because someone needs to, I'd like, I've had the conversation with people multiple times as how I don't understand how McFly have not written for K-pop. Like, I don't understand how McFly have not written for K-pop. McFly wrote for One Direction. Tom and Danny wrote for One Direction. So the fact that they haven't written for K-pop makes no sense to me. <laughs> like, none. Um, Like, they would fit so many vibes of so many different bands and... Poor. I just, yeah, they would be brilliant. Um, and the fact that there is now a member of a K band in K pop that has the light up bass that Dougie has. The harmony on that! And then bring it into more of a whisper to bring it more vulnerable again. And just piano. I'm sorry. Why? Why? I like, I come out of this sort of stuff sometimes and go, why haven't I been listening to them before? And this, absolutely. Why haven't I been listening to them before? 
because I listen to Lucy and I listen to The Rose and I listen to Some Day Six. Like, why, why have I not been listening to One Wee? I need to be listening to One Wee. They are added to all my playlists. Okay, so after watching the music video, I was like, I need to hear them perform this live. Like, when I watch K-pop groups, apart from B2B, I normally watch a dance practice after I watch a music video, if there is the option to do that. Um, B2B, I watch them sing live because their vocals are ridiculous. Um, <laughs> and they always sing live. So for this, I'm going to watch them perform it live. This is them doing on, doing it on It's Live. Um, I saw that there was also an acoustic version, but I decided to do this one just to be able to hear it as it was, even though it was very acoustic already. Um, but I want to see them like stood up in a very band environment. So it looks like they're quite spaced out from each other. Um, probably because this was filmed during the Panini. Anyway. <laughs> Let's go. This is cute because then I kind of get to see what they're like outside of it. Let's go. For a minute there, I was like, that's not the right song. <laughs> so he's one of those singers that get like right close with the microphone. Which, there's no harm in. Like I said, I'm a big McFly fan. Danny Jones from McFly basically eats his microphone. It's great. <laughs> His voice is really nice. Okay, I'm going to point something out. He is doing a little bit of vocal strain in these like more powerful notes. You can see it because all the muscles in his neck are tensing and you can see the veins. Um, and these aren't ridiculously high notes for him. Like I can hear that. He's just putting a lot of pressure on his throat, which isn't good for him. And he needs to, basically my advice to him would be he needs to put it more in his diaphragm. He needs to put more strength into his diaphragm, more strength into his obliques. Uh, something my singing teacher used to say was, you're not singing from here, you're singing from here. And you need to imagine that your voice is coming from down here and you're pushing it out from down here. Um, and you, Because you shouldn't actually be feeling it here. It shouldn't feel strenuous here. It should feel easy. Singing should feel easy. If you're if it doesn't, you're either not, you're either doing something wrong, mm -hmm. yeah, or 
you are not supposed to be singing that note. If it hurts, don't sing it. Advice to anyone. If you sing sing a note and you're like, how about hurt? Don't sing it. It's not right for you. You're just harming yourself. If it hurts to sing, don't do it. <laughs> Continue. You also see he's getting a little red in the face as well. That also might just be the lighting, who knows? <laughs> oh, the harmonies. That harmony was really nice. There's a lot of pressure into his voice. But you don't hear it, which is the interesting thing. Well, the guy on the piano is like barely anything. It's easy for him. Also, I know he's playing guitar, but he needs to lay his shoulders down. He's great, but he needs to lay his shoulders down. Ooh, that shift was really nice. Oh. Just do that entire bit again for me. Just. Ridiculous. It's so effortless. Apart from some of the singing. Though he might have just had like a not great throat when they were filming this. And so he had to put a little bit more effort in. Which is fair. Okay, so again, why have I not listened to One Wee before? Number one. Number two, my advice about that lead singer putting a lot of pressure in his throat was not cruel, was not me trying to be mean, not me, it was basically me being picky, trying to find something to talk about apart from the fact that it was really good. <laughs> because it, it, it was really good, that song was beautiful. Like the piano, the acoustic guitar, the, the tiny bit of violin in the back of the chorus it, it's just so pretty it's such a beautiful song and like the meaning behind it and having their families in it and their pets in it and it's just so choked and sad and almost made me cry which i feel like is something you guys like to do often try and make me cry <sighs> Anyway, if you have any more One Wee recommendations or any other K-pop that you think I might like, please leave it in the comments below. If you want to see more from me, is also links to my social media where I post loads of random weird stuff. I talk about K-dramas, I talk about BLs, I talk about Bluey. <laughs> Recently it's been Bluey. Um, that is all linked in the description box below. Um, if you want to see any more of my reactions, there is also a link to a playlist for all of those in the description box below. If you liked the video, like it, give it a thumbs up. 
And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye. Thank you.